A few weeks ago, Ariana Grande released her brand new track, Yes And, and the track takes a ton of inspiration from 90s house music, and we've never really broken that down on this channel. So in this video today, I wanna show you how to produce a song like Yes And. I wanna show you some of those 90s house elements that you can take and inject into your own productions. And by the end of the video, you should be able to kind of recreate that. So we're gonna dive in and take a look at all of that in one second, but before we do, my name is Austin, you're watching Make Pop Music. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe because we have tutorials like this come out every single Friday. Also, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Cradle. You've probably heard of Cradle from their plugins like the God Particle, the Prince, the Spirit. They're all incredible, but what I am really, really stoked on from Cradle is their brand new line of state machines. So they're releasing this line of synth plugins called State Machines, and it's really cool because each one does something very, very specific. Right now they have slow drift, they have faded keys, and they have low end, and they all have very, very specific characteristics, but the cool thing is, is that they're all laid out very similar. So it feels like a family of plugins. They're really easy to navigate. They sound incredible. You're going to hear them a ton in this tutorial. So I just wanted to say thank you for sponsoring us today. You can check out all of their plugins at cradle.app and you can grab the state machines for only like 59 bucks a piece. And if you want to grab the bundle of three, that's $119. You can try all of their plugins for 14 days using the Cradle app that you can download on your computer. And then other than that, they even have a free plugin that you can download. So if you wanna check out the State Machines and see how you like that kind of synth layout, check out their free plugin, BitFlip. This thing is incredible. It's completely free. You can have it forever. It's a perpetual license. So go check that out. That's all at cradle.app. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring the video today. I really, really appreciate it. You can support them by clicking the link in the description. Let's go ahead and let's dive in so we can break down this production. Okay, so the first thing is finding the tempo. Honestly, for this kind of 90s house song, we're probably just gonna leave it at 120. Let's hit the metronome. Yeah, that's fine to me. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add a synth track. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna add Faded Keys from Cradle. It's their state machine. And let's just go ahead and add this. I wanna find some kind of like 90s sound that we can kind of use. So in Yes And, they're kind of just automatically using a ton of different um, like Yamaha DX7 stuff. They're using some different like Korg M1 stuff. And there are tons of plugins out there that will recreate those vintage synths and they do it really, really well. But for me, I want something that has a little bit more texture. I know that I can use those sounds that have been around for 30, 40 years. I want something that feels a little bit more modern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of take that sound and inject a modern twist into it. And we can do that using State Machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the acoustic keys and let's just go ahead and start seeing what we have. Maybe dance. Let's turn this down a little bit. Let's try, let's try vintage. That one sounds good. I want a little bit of that kind of tacky upright. All right, so let's go ahead and track that up. I'm gonna leave that one for now. And then what I'm gonna do is show you guys how to get it to sound really, really tacky and hard. All right, let's go ahead and get that going. Excuse the timing issues. I am working with some delay right here. All right, so let's see. We want the 16th notes. I kinda wanna add an extra one back here. So let's see how that works. The really important part of this kind of 90s kind of house element that she uses a ton in her song and Madonna uses a ton in like Vogue is that the keys don't really hit on the one. They're kind of syncopated and they're kind of on the backbeat. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat that. And then what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to process this to get these to really, really smack in a mix. So we're gonna go ahead and use just like a kind of typical OTT style multiband compressor and Cubase has one called Squasher and there's a preset in here called House Tops and this thing just immediately makes it rip. But I don't want it to be so filtered so I'm gonna turn this mix down. And that gives you that kind of traditional DX7 super tacky upright but most of that is happening in State Machine. We literally just have to add a little bit of that extra compression. We can also go in here. I think what I might do is turn down this bit crusher a little bit, turn up the EQ, and I might make this decay a little bit shorter. And so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start layering that sounds because I have my kind of tacky synth done. To layer that synth up, I want something that has a little bit of buzz to it because I want something that 
is not so tacky and so transient. So what I'm going to use is actually the free state machine that they have on Cradle called BitFlip. This thing is insane for like 90 sounding video game sounds, which we don't need a ton of in this production, but I do want that kind of buzziness. I kind of like that. It's going to add a nice little bit of texture. And to me, that just gives it a little bit of that kind of like modern flair and modern depth. Um, and it's a free plugin, so it's really, really fun to add. And then the last thing that I want to add is I want to add a layer that basically has a little bit of extra movement. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up another instance of faded keys, and I want to do something that has a little bit more movement. So when I was playing around, there was one that I saw. It starts with a W. Let's see. Water arbs. I don't think this is it. No, nah, but that is a cool sound. Water wings. Mm-mm. That's it. Okay. So I want this wide psychedelics because it has this really cool delay. And so once I copy everything down to it, turn it down a little bit, and let's filter this out. Just kind of fills up that space. I don't want something super patty, but that's kind of giving me the texture that I need. Now what I want to do is I want to add in some kind of vocal chop because I need something that will hit on the one that is not these synths. You hear this in Yes And with a vocal chop. So what I'm going to do is just track up a little vocal real quick and then chop it up and show you how to process that. Here is our vocal chop. As you can see, I just recorded a vocal and the key to getting that really choppy sound is actually cutting out a lot of the tail of words. So you can see that we're going to have these really harsh cuts. I keep waiting, waiting. I keep waiting for you. I keep waiting, waiting. Now, what I want to do is I want to drag that formant down. So I'm going to use auto tune to do that. So just engage formant, drag it up a little bit. I keep waiting, waiting. I keep waiting for you. Now we just need to filter and distort it. We're going to use decap to get some distortion. I keep waiting, waiting. I keep waiting for you. I keep waiting. And then to really give us our vocal mix, I'm just going to use the Spirit. This is also by Cradle. This plugin is incredible, and I don't see enough people talk about this. I love this thing. I'm going to use some built-in compression. I'm going to use their EQ shelving. And most importantly, I'm going to use the doubler and the plate for all of my effects. So before, I keep waiting, waiting, after, I keep waiting for you. I keep waiting, waiting, I keep waiting, waiting, I keep waiting, waiting, I keep waiting for you. And then the last thing is we just want an instance of kickstart so it kind of adds that quarter note ducking just to give us that housey vibe. That's most of the melody that I'm going to need. We'll add layers as we go, but I want to go ahead and start adding some drums. So I want to add some basically like 909 and like 808 style drums because that's mainly what's in the original and in all of those kind of 90s house songs. But instead of just using traditional 909 sample, I want to use something that has a little bit more texture. So we actually sampled that for our Y2K pack. Um, and I want to kind of use those because they have a bit more modern twist than just kind of using a standard 909 sample. Kind of similar to why I wanted to use the faded keys from Cradle instead of using just like your typical Yamaha DX7 stuff. It's really cool, but if you can find something that has a nice little modern punch, I think it really, really helps. Let's find a kick. Yeah, that one's punchy. So I'm going to drag this in, and then we basically just need this thing to do a four on the floor. So we can just drag this out just like this, and we'll just repeat that for basically infinity. And then what I want to do is I want to get a 909 style clap and a 909 style snare. So if we go to claps, let's kind of... I'm cool with trapping. We're just going to put that on the two and four. So four on the floor kick, snare and clap on the two and four. Let's route these to a bus. Probably turn them down a few dB. Pitch this kick down. Cool. That's working for me. Let's find a little snare. My fave could work. That could work. That's definitely what I want. Okay. So we're going to add the snare on two and four. But what we also want to do is we want to add in a little stutter, stutter layer. 
So here's what we have. As you can see, we added a, a little extra snare just right on this and, and then we just have these little rolls. And with everything, Now, of course, we kind of need an open hat, so that's just gonna kind of sit on the backbeat. Let's go to OPs. I'm just gonna add grooving. And this is really easy. You just basically have to add this on the end of every measure. So we'll shorten it up a little bit. Boom, boom. Drag it out for infinity. Let's just pan it a little bit, route this. <laughs> Pitch that down like one or two semitones. And then we need a closed hat. That works. And what I want to do for this is now I'm going to start to add a little bit of swing. So let's go over here. Let's turn our swing up to like 65, 66%. That works for me. And now what I'm going to do is program a little pattern. And this is going to give us our kind of closed hat that is just really consistent. And I'm going to go ahead and just make this a little bit more lively. Drag this out. And now here we go. I'm going to layer that up with some different tambourines and percussion stuff. Uh, and then that's pretty much all the drums. Now, last little thing before we move on to structuring out a verse is I obviously need some kind of bass line. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the low end state machine. This thing is incredible for bass. It's got a bunch of super, super thick sounds. And again, we could kind of go with that traditional kind of, you know, M1 bass. That's not really what I want to do. I want to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to go to digital and just kind of sort through things. Let's go down a couple octaves, turn this down a little bit. That one's kind of cool if we shorten up the release. That's kind of what I want. I kind of want that organy vibe, but I don't want something that's so a traditional M1 organy. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Let's try that. So here's a little bass line that I just drew in. And now over top of everything, it sounds a little bit like this. Let's go ahead and let's just duplicate that. So we're going to layer that with a different bass. I'm going to go in here and let's just see what they have. That could be cool. Let's layer that and let's probably pitch this up an octave. All right, and then all I want to do is cut out all of the low end of this one, and then we're pretty much good. Now, I think we kind of have our general progression and drop and everything like that done. What I want to do is I want to start working on a verse, so I'm basically just going to copy everything over and then kind of start removing elements because a lot of the drum stuff will stay similar. A lot of the um, you know chords will stay similar, but what I want to do is drag this over, probably delete all of the hi-hats and, and all of that stuff, definitely the open hi-hats, and then take out this little vocal and let's go ahead and just kind of mute these and see what we want to do for pattern. Let me go ahead and just find some kind of different top loops that we can layer in because I want something in there, but I don't want what we had earlier. So here we go. We got a couple different top loops out of the Sweet Tooth Pack on our website. So we've panned one to the right, one to the left. You can see they're a little bit shorter, a little bit more staccato. That's kind of what I want for the verse. And then for keys, I think I want to keep this kind of pattern, but I want a synth that is much less aggressive and kind of like tacky. Um, so what I want is more probably like a synth pad. So I actually think that instead of doing the faded keys, I actually want to use more of the slow drift because this is a little bit more textural. Everything's a little bit softer. And then I think that I might be able to find something in here to just kind of give me that vibe. I don't want something that chill. I want something a little bit more nice for a pad. Kind of aggressive. Not what we need at all. Kind of cool for like a little pad. 
That wub is really cool. Let me go ahead and let me just tweak the attack and the decay and the release so we can get something a little bit shorter. Let's turn this cutoff down a little bit. And then let's turn this little bit crusher distortion off. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay, so in context, it sounds a little bit like this. And what I'm doing is kind of offsetting this because since it's a wub, it takes a second to ramp up. So I'm gonna drag this back like 50 milliseconds over here. And I wanna layer that up with a kind of like a soft key. So I think I'm gonna go back to the faded keys and just see what we can get as like a layer. So I found this really cool preset called 80s Novella and I basically just kind of tweak some of the effects and the cutoff. And it's giving me a bunch of width, it's giving me a bunch of soft texture, and that sounds really nice on this version. That's feeling pretty good. The only thing that I did that I should probably show you is I'm doing a little chord run up right here for the last measure. So we're gonna keep layering up. I think I wanna do some bass, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in now. I'll probably just do a new bass line on this shark fin bass because it sounds great as is. Here's our new bass line. So that's just following everything. We have a nice little verse working. Let's go ahead and let's layer up these big kind of chord runs. I wanna do one that has a little bit more texture. So what I'm gonna do is just literally only do it on this. And I think I wanna go back to their free plugin, the bit flip one, because there is this really cool preset that I remember in there that kind of already has those like big kind of major seventh chords in there. And uh, which one is it? Which one is it? High rule lament. Yeah. Yeah, so I can literally just do that with a root note. I don't even need to have these sevenths in here. So I can just let that rip. Up an octave. Perfect. I'm also layering this chord with this uh, fragrant oasis. Figured we haven't really used any organs. Organs are super, super popular in 90s house. Kind of acts as like a nice little buildup already. And like I said, State Machines has a bunch of cool like ambience and movement and texture. So when you do something like hold these down, it has movement. And I just have a big instance of kickstart on everything over here just to add that movement. And then other than that, I wanna add a lead and a pad and then the verse is pretty much done. I'm just gonna duplicate and layer. So we're gonna add one little textural pad right here. This is just the calm down preset out of State Machine Slow Drift. Super sick for pads, sounds like this. Really low in the mix. And then I wanted one lead just to give me something. So I just have this friendly lead right here, sounds like this. Literally no post-processing on almost any of these synths. Just ripping them straight out of the box, they sound sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate all of this over and then add a couple different layers for the second half of this verse and then we're gonna build out the final chorus. For the main kind of chord hits, I'm just adding the cycle whirly right here. I wanted something that had a little bit more mids and a little bit more attack but was not super, super kind of transient like that upright piano. And then to layer up that lead, the friendly lead, I ended up doing one of my favorite techniques, which is where I actually split that lead into two different instances. So I have a left and a right. And as you can see, they kind of just go back and forth. And I'm just using that because now that these are panned, I'm using the same preset, which is just a preset called story time. But what's cool is it'll play one note on the left, then one note on the right. Great way to add a little bit of stereo width. and. Uh, that's pretty much it. 
I'm going to go ahead and move on to a chorus where we basically will copy paste this chorus and add a bunch of layers and then we'll add our finishing touches and this thing's done. For the final chorus, we don't have anything new on the drums, anything new on the bass. The only thing is we're just kind of pulling in some of those extra layers from the verse with the chorus progression. So in the first little kind of chorus that we had, we just had the vintage piano, the rising saga and the wide psychedelics. But now I have the 80s novella, the wub and the psycho whirlets are all doing that little vibe. And then I have this calm down pad and this new drunk adaptation pad, which are kind of just playing a backbeat. And that's just to give me a, a little bit bigger wall of sound with a bass. So it's just strategic layering. I didn't pull in the leads. I didn't pull in these big kind of running chord stabs. I didn't need any of that. I just needed those extra kind of textural layers for those kind of 90s house hits. And then the only other thing that I did is pulled the back in the vocal and I added in some different kind of uh, rises and hits and stuff like that from our Sweet Tooth pack and then added in a couple little like drum fills during the verse. And that's pretty much it. After that, it's really all about structuring. So structure wise, the main thing that I did was I pulled everything out on the one of this chorus. So everything really comes in where that snare comes in on the two. And then we're just going to basically automate a mute. So now all of the sense will mute. And that's it for the chorus. And then the only other thing that I did was I dragged everything back like four measures and added a little intro with just the piano and that rising saga from Bitflip and the uh, kind of vocal chop that we recorded in there. And then just kind of structured everything out. So it is four measures of an intro, eight measures of kind of an intro chorus drop, 16 measures of a verse, and then eight measures of a chorus. So here's what everything sounds like all together. Uh, again, literally every single melodic element was from the different state machines. Uh, thanks again to the sponsor. But honestly, these just work so sick. This was such an easy video to make. Uh, which is why I was so stoked to work with them. So go check them out. They're incredible. You can try them for 14 days. Let's take a listen to what we actually came up with. it that is how to make a 90s house inspired song similar to ariana grande's new track yes and again thank you to cradle for sponsoring this video go check them out at cradle.app there is a link in the description you supporting our sponsors is a great way for you to support us on the channel we really really appreciate you all being so receptive to us doing sponsored content like this because i wanted to make this video either way so i really really appreciate cradle stepping in and saying hey Let's get this done. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. We will be back next week with more content. So let us know what you want to see in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe. And if you like this video, make sure that you leave a like because that really, really helps us in the algorithm. Other than that, we'll see you next week with more content. Much love, everyone. Peace.